Well, health experts are growing increasingly concerned about the strain the pandemic's placing on Americans' mental health. According to the Census Bureau's Household Pulse Survey, a third of Americans are feeling severe anxiety, and nearly a quarter show signs of depression. A recent poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation found 56% of adults say the pandemic negatively affected their mental health. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle joins us live. And Lena, there's a new effort to reduce the suicide rate here in Northeast Florida. Hmm. Good morning, Bruce. Behavioral health professionals are calling what some people are going through at this time as a result of crisis fatigue. I spoke with Dr. Christine Caulfield with LSF Health Systems, and she says that the unprecedented combination of stress, isolation, burnout, anxiety, and depression is creating a mental health crisis like we've never seen before. A new Duval Mental Health Partnership received an $800,000 grant to get people the help they need during this time. The new COVID-19 Emergency Response for Suicide Prevention, known as the ERSP Project, is a partnership between several local groups, including LSF Health Systems, the Mental Health Resource Center, Hubbard House, Changing Homelessness, and local hospital emergency departments. The goal of this project is to prevent suicide attempts among adults who are at risk, including victims of domestic violence. It will screen up to 1,200 individuals and provide intensive care services for up to 500 people over a 16-month period. It's very critical to have at this moment because we have such a rise in people calling the suicide hotlines, people calling our access to care line here at LSF Health Systems. Um, we have a rise actually in the completed suicide. So we want to train professionals that are working in emergency rooms in domestic violence shelters uh, to be able to recognize the signs and symptoms and intervene quickly to prevent individuals from completing a suicide and getting those individuals the help that they need so that they can turn around those thoughts and they can get support and professional help so that they can continue to be healthy and happy and move through this very, very challenging time. Dr. Caulfield also says there's red signs that you should look out for if someone is considering suicide. They include that person giving away their personal possessions, making statements like life isn't worth living or I'm a burden. They're isolated, not returning phone calls, and also they're not connecting with loved ones and friends as normal. We plan to post the full interview with Dr. Caulfield inside the story on newsforjax.com. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local. Local station.